The first Spider-Man, Kwaku Anansi, a trickster god and the god of storytelling, is an African deity and a revered figure renowned for his intelligence and cunning, often outwitting larger and stronger beings, even gods. Many of his tales have served to impart lessons and wisdom over the ages, with Anansi, whose name translates to spider, often being depicted as transforming from a human into a spider or a combination of both. In his connection to Marvel, of who his legend spans well beyond beyond, Anansi having disappeared to serve the supreme god Niame was thought by some to have first spun the great web of life and destiny, otherwise the three-dimensional web that connects the different dimensions across the multiverse. With this three-dimensional web shooting across five-dimensional space, with the extra fifth spatial dimension, according to string theory, being compactified or curled up at the micro scale, making it otherwise imperceptible. As this dimension and the spider web weaves its way through the universe tying together and influencing the fundamental forces of the universe like gravity and electromagnetism. And it's through this great web, a Nazi as the first Spider-Man was thought to have been able to gift his powers to chosen individuals across the multiverse. A Nazi has all of the basic spider powers we've seen over the years, if we cranked all of them up as high as they could go, which includes him having an extreme agility and extremely acute spider sense that ranks far above anyone else. A Nancy also has the ability to create and shoot his own organic webs at an inexhaustible rate, and at distances far beyond any Spider-Man. In a story from long ago, Anansi, seeing how the people of the world were sad, bored, and restless, remembered that in the palace of his father Niame, the Sky God, there were magical things called stories. So Anansi set out to go to his father, the Supreme God, who knows and sees everything, created everything, and rules over the sky. After climbing the tall tree he could find, Anansi weaved out a massive web, shooting it high into the sky, climbing the web until the villages became tiny dots below and even beyond, or a point where Anansi could be placed somewhere past the lower edge of the stratosphere, otherwise meaning that he shot and climbed a 25 kilometer or 16 mile long web. Upon Niame tasking Anansi with completing four impossible tasks involving the capture of dangerous and clever creatures, Niame granted Anansi control over all of the stories on Earth, and thus Anansi became the spider god of stories. Similar to the ingenuity of the first Spider-Man, but at a far greater scale, Anansi's organic webbing gives him the control and capability to instantly spin his webs into any object he desires, be it a shield, raft, or web to cover an entire city or multiverse. Like the rest of the African gods, Anansi possesses immortality, meaning that much like their Asgardian brethren, Anansi cells are hyper efficient. Being able to generate ATP, repair DNA damage, evade cellular mutations, and rapidly divide through the cell cycle without ever messing up. Notably as a god, the telomeres of his cells, the protective genetic caps on its chromosomes, never shorten. And thus being perfect, his body, his organs, never really undergo what is called cellular senescence, or the process where cells stop dividing due to the shortening of their telomeres, and basically die, a process closely associated with aging, age-related diseases, and cancer. With this, Kawaku Anansi possesses a healing factor just like that of Wolverine, surviving and healing from otherwise fatal injuries thanks to an immune system strength that makes him incapable of falling ill to any terrestrial disease or pathogen. Anansi's physical strength is stated to be around 25 US tons, or otherwise the strength needed to lift 50,000 pounds or nearly 23,000 kilograms kilograms, including a nearly inexhaustible stamina thanks to his super mitochondria. In one instance, after Spider-Man and a trip through the astral plane decided to walk off the path Doctor Strange warned him to never leave, as Peter saw a giant spider, Anansi told Peter it wasn't his time yet and proceeded to smack Spider-Man so hard that he turned into a literal lightning bolt, and as such would see Peter otherwise be flying somewhere around 168,000 kilometers or 270,000 miles per hour back into his body. When it comes to a Nazi's combat skill, this guy is off the charts. Much like other folklore gods, a Nazi has been around an awfully long time. With any time he's spent training and just fighting through countless battles, utterly dwarfing his mortal counterparts, hailing from and having spent most of his early life in Africa, a Nazi is most likely predominantly skilled in African fighting arts like Dombe, being 
a fairly brutal style of boxing and Zulu stick fighting, and it's likely that a Nazi in his early travels to explore all of Africa came into contact with Nubian wrestling that came from ancient Egypt, including other fighting arts like archery, sword, and spears, with him likely learning and practicing all manner of martial arts styles throughout the millennia to come. When it comes to his exact age, a Nazi's tales predate written language, being orally passed down throughout the centuries, with the first written languages showing up specifically in Western Africa where a Nazi was from, coming in the form of religious texts in the 7th century or right after the year 600 AD, with a Nazi possibly having existed millennia before that, which would put his age somewhere around 3,500 years ago, more or less, making him at least a full 2,000 years older than our God of Thunder. And that's a lot of practice time that a Nazi has used to pretty effortlessly beat up the multiple Spider-Man variants like Silk, Gwen Stacy, Madam Web, Peter Parker, and Miles Morales at once. A Nazi also shows that he even knows everything that there is to know about each of them, as he has watched each and every one of their stories unfold, witnessing every triumph and every heartbreak, proving that a Nazi and his connection to the larger web is something of an interdimensional being, as he is able to pretty easily travel to and from any of the Spider-Man's worlds as he pleases. He also has other magical abilities, being able to not only shapeshift, but at times he has shown the ability to control other spiders to do his bidding, and on top of that he can also teleport. And with his connection to the energy coming from the web of life, it really looks like he doesn't need a special bracelet to just suddenly up and vanish to another dimension. But a Nazi's strongest ability over the other spiders, ranking above his strength, his millennia of fighting skills, and even his superior spider powers, is that he has not only the ability to give spider powers to individuals, but he can also take them away with just a simple tap on the forehead or anywhere he decides to touch you, effectively rewriting that individual's entire genetic code back to that of a regular human in basically a second. And thus, Anansi is the guy who came up with the idea of having spider totems, otherwise having a fleet of other individuals possessing his powers existing across the multiverse, protecting it and keeping the whole thing from collapsing in on itself, killing everything and everyone. But as powerful as Anansi is, as possibly the strongest Spider-Man out there, he still has a major limitation and weakness. However, unlike many of the other characters, I've had to cram years of branching storylines, cool feats, and unique abilities into my head in the span of a few days, much like other trickster gods, Anansi's main weakness is his own hubris, his overconfidence at overestimating his own abilities, and at the same time underestimating the abilities and cunning of his opponents, especially that of incredibly smart ones that he doesn't think will be able to match his years of experience. And it's possible that it's this weakness that his father Niame saw in him, that otherwise caused the Sky God to temporarily take a Nazi's powers, that caused him to pass it on to others in the first place. But if none of this was very interesting, then here's one last interesting fact. In the Spider-Verse series, Anansi shows that his connection to the Great Web is so strong that he can project himself through space, not only picking off individual abilities, but like other Spider-Men who we go over, as a literal spider, Anansi is extremely vulnerable to a simple chemical used in modern medicine to numb pain and in bug spray, known as ethyl chloride, a chemical that has been shown to completely take away their spider powers and possibly kill them. With us going over other characters like Insomniac Spider-Man's feats in these videos right here. See you in the next one.